Hello and happy Sunday, uh, assuming it's Sunday where you are, maybe it's Monday or Tuesday, I don't know, but if you're at work and you're watching this and it's Tuesday, hmm, sketchy. Uh, I am giving Nikki a Sunday off, she wants to go do something Portlandy. I don't know, maybe drink cold brew coffee riding a unicycle while getting a tattoo, something like that. But. I had another question for you all. I'm really interested to see what you had to say last time, really interested to hear what you have to say this time. So there's been a lot in the media recently about electric vehicles and low speed and them making noises. And this is a thing that's been discussed on and off pretty much since their advent and the concept that they will creep up silently on you and murder you and who knows what they're doing in their quiet, silent way. Um, and I think there is probably an argument for very quiet vehicles making some kind of noise at low speeds because our i3 and the RAV4 um, both can creep quite spectacularly quietly, uh, particularly in car parks um, or pulling out at very low speeds or in city traffic when you're pulling out very quietly from a parking space or you're in low speed creeping traffic. Yes, the car is extremely quiet. So those of you who follow me on Twitter or follow the Transport Evolved account will know that our new staff car is a Kia Nero EV and that makes a sort of sci-fi woo type noise when you're driving along at low speeds. Uh, at least the American version does. I know the European one has a little button, I think you can turn it on and off, but in America you can't. But with the passage of legislation in Europe, now electric vehicles, and as far as I know exclusively, plug-in electric vehicles will have to make a noise at low speeds. And as I say, I think there's an argument that can be made for quiet vehicles need to make a noise, but this seems to come largely from a place which is a mixture of fear of the unknown and also a place of distrust of electric vehicles, perhaps an anti-EV stance. Um, because realistically, once you hit a couple of miles an hour, um, maybe, I don't know, around 10, 12 miles an hour, at that point, you start getting the crunching of gravel, you get road noise, you get noise from the tyres. And yes, certainly, as we move forwards and ongoing work on reducing the amount of noise that tyres um, make, um, may make it more of an issue at higher speeds. But this legislation doesn't really address quiet vehicles at high speeds, it just addresses exclusively electric vehicles at low speeds. Um, and where that I find that interesting is be, because we have a lot of hybrids. Um, we used to have a Toyota Prius, a second generation Prius, and that also, if you were very gentle with the throttle, you could get moving and roll along at low speeds up to around 25 miles an hour. Um, and it was as quiet as any of our modern electric vehicles. Some vehicles that I have driven, some very nice vehicles, have had very, very well insulated cabins and very, very quiet engines. And I, I very rarely spend a lot of time outside nice, posh, gasoline or petrol vehicles. To be honest, I spend very little time inside them. But either way, those vehicles can also be exceptionally quiet. So really what my question is, is one, is it necessary? So I don't know. I do have friends with children and um, I think that in uh, car parks, when you're reversing, when you're driving at low speeds in car parks, it's definitely something that's wise. Uh, also where I grew up on built up city streets where kids used to play in the street. I don't really see that happening so much now. Um, I think there is a place again for um, for cars that are very quiet to make a noise. 
Do you think that? That's, a, uh, that's my first question. Do you think that quiet vehicles should make a noise? And secondly, should it just be limited to electric vehicles? Should it include any vehicle that is very quiet? Um, should it just be a decibel limit? If your car is quieter than this, this number of decibels at this speed, then it has to make a warning noise. And what should that noise look like? Because while cars produce sort of a uh, uh, sort of white brown noise kind of mix of chugging that's quite irritating once you get used to electric vehicles that are very quiet um and while i find the the kia nero's um kind of woo quite entertaining in that i kind of think of it as a warp drive spooling up or something ridiculous um when our streets are filled with electric vehicles, are we going to end up with this cacophony of mismatched, discordant electric vehicle noises that really is going to be bad? I don't know. So let me know what you think. I'm really intrigued to hear your thoughts on the, the future outcome of this kind of... this move towards electric vehicles making a noise and the requirement that they do so but also that whether whether this should just apply to electric vehicles because i personally don't think it should but i'm really interested to hear what you think let me know let me see if you can change my mind tell me what you think um so i i hope that's been an interesting topic for you to mull on for the day and uh we'll be back next week with more cleaner, greener, safer, smarter news uh, from the world of cleaner, greener, safer, smarter transport. Uh, until next week, keep evolving.